Sorry guys, my husband's laughing at me and there's people in the background, but whatever. Um, we are at Vancouver Fan Expo, which is exciting. Uh, I meant to finish, uh, I meant to film a video last week for Fan Expo, or Emerald City, but I didn't, because I'm a jackass. Um, but here we are at Fan Expo, we're at the panel, for, um, was it for you? Sounds good. For Jennifer Morrison, who, uh, is in Once Upon a Time, um, one of my favorite shows. I'm worried that this is going to be a little bit spoilers because I'm a little bit behind in the episodes because the school sucks the fuck out of my life. Um, so I'll film a little bit of the panel and then um, we have my bear, my bear came. Fred Fredrickson, Fredrickson. He came with us. Uh, and this is my awesome Luke Crate shirt. Um, but anyways, uh, I'll film some of that and then I'm going to go downstairs and show you guys downstairs. Sorry, can you squeeze by? So yeah. Dance, Fredrickson, dance. The whole aspect of fairy tales is so popular right now. Um, you know, I don't know why things go through the different paths they go through, why things sort of start to become popular at different times, but um, I recently started reading a bunch of Joseph Campbell, and at the, um, I guess, the, the risk of sounding a little bit nerdy here, um, well, that's okay. We're in good company here. <laughs> I am a little bit obsessed with him right now. And he really dives into this idea of myth and the way that it affects society and culture and pop culture and the way that um, myths and fairy tales and stories that we tell really cross over um, and influence each other and how cultures that never knew about each other way before on the internet and all that stuff uh, would have similar um, mythologies that would develop in their storytelling because of something in the human spirit that we desired. And so I think shows like Once Upon a Time or Harry Potter or uh, Lord of the Rings or these shows that have like really deep mythologies and they're really pulling on these older stories and myth um, are resonating with people and um, they're, they're a way to symbolically see parts of ourselves and symbolically experience things that maybe would be a little too hard to face if they were too real. Um, so I think we're in a moment in time where that's uh, really powerful in people's lives. We are at a comic book convention. <laughs> What's the name of this convention? Fan Expo. Fan Expo. We're at Fan Expo <laughs> Vancouver. Having a great time. Children. Uh, did you get that kid picking his nose? Did you get that on film? I think so, okay. actually. <laughs> Do a quick little tour, look at all the cool shit. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> yes, yes, I did get that on camera. Oh. Anyways, so they got a lot of cool shit. A lot of kids, a lot of, of t-shirts. It is clearing out, which is nice. They have a lot of really cool anime stuff. So I'm going to come show you guys. As soon as you should look at that on my <laughs> Lots and lots of people, look at all of them. Lots of anime stuff, lots of plushies, lots of cool t shirts and stuff. These are my husband. It's not a cool thing to do. But they also got like this really cool Wonder Brothers thing. Because they're promoting all this cool stuff. And then they have a boatload of Lego and Bionic. Lego Bionicles. Anyway, so. Awesome stuff. They got some Batman costumes that were for charity of some variety. And then we're going to show you the cool Lego Bionicles. No. No. Thanks, so. What are we doing? And then we got somebody who has a lot of time on their hand. And I'm super jealous and I wish I had an apartment big enough to hold this. And that's where all the celebrities are, or were, hours ago. Although most of them are gone right now, because it's late. So yeah, husband, playing with the leg. Alright, and so that's it. That was Fan Expo. That's, that's basically it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed your little 
Oh yeah, that cool ass costume. I hope you guys enjoyed your little tour. And it's been a great time for us so far. And yeah, this is our last day, our only day, and we will be, next convention we're gonna be at is Dragon Con. Probably Dragon Con. Um, but I think that we might be at the Summer Festival at SFU if anybody wants to kick around in Vancouver. Uh, but who knows? Uh, yeah, so thanks for, thanks for enjoying my video. Toodles!